Hello guys, my name is Nora Saha and today in this tutorial you will learn about some string method. So let's see what are the sum of string method and what we can do with it. The syntax for the string method is so to use the string method first we need a string then we have to write the name of string method. So let's see what I'm trying to say. Let's say I have a variable called s and I assign a string called happy new year now I want to check how many small a in this string so for that I have to write yes dot count then a and it return 2 because here we have 2 small a but if I copy this and paste and replace the small a with capital A, it return 0 because this string does not contain capital A. Another example of count is here again return 0. But if I write It return one because it contain one year we also have a method for upper and lower case for upper case we write a string dot upper yes dot upper and it return the upper case of this string and for lower yes dot lower you also have to note that this upper method or a lower method does not change the value of s but if we want to change the value of s we have to assign value on the s so here what i am trying to say is that even after using a lower method it return happy new year in a lower case but if i check the value of s it shows the string is not changed this string is same as before so to change this string with this we just have to write s equal to s dot lower now if i again check the value of s it return happy new year in a lower case we also have a method called capitalize yes dot c a p i T A L I Z E capitalize and as you can see it make first letter of the string capital and the rest of the letter in lower case likewise you can try yes dot title and it will make first letter of each word capital like here yes is capital here n is capital and here y is capital we can also check whether a string is in uppercase or in lowercase or a title or something else so for that we know this string is in lowercase so if i write yes dot upper sorry yes dot is upper it return false but if i write is lower it return true likewise we can also check is title or is capitalized now the next method is is digit for that i write yes dot is D -I -G -I -D, digit and we can use this is digit method to check whether the string contain only a number or not so as we know that s contain only a string so if i hit enter it return false but if a string contain just a number
then it return true our next method is is alpha yes dot is alpha but it return false this is alpha method is used to check whether the string contain only alphabet or not if we see this string this string only contain alphabet but for python this space is not considered as alphabet so it return false so to get a is alpha method return true i can write hello dot is alpha and it return true and the last method for this tutorial is all num which is just a mixer of is digit and is alpha method so for this method to return true the string must contain a number or alphabet but not other character so what i'm trying to say let me explain you by the example it return true because this string contain alphabet if i copy this and paste it here and add some number here it again return true because this string contain alphabet and a number now if i copy this again paste it here but if i add another character other than number or alphabet like hashtag is written false now to recap this tutorial we learn about some of the different string method like upper lower title is upper is lower and so on and this is the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something from this tutorial and i will see you on the next tutorial